I have always wanted to read a Lisa Gardner book. And so when the book club that I joined on Facebook made it their book of the month, I was like, yes, I finally get to read one of her books. And I think the biggest reason why I never read one is because crime thrillers really are not my thing. I'm not a big James Patterson. I have put James Patterson books down. That's how not into crime thrillers I am. I Lee Child, I've tried. He's a great writer, but it really takes a great crime thriller for me to finish a book. So the highest compliment that I can give this book is I finished it. I loved it. It was so good. I love the main character. She kept me reading. Let's just start at the beginning. This book is 395 pages. So when I say that I finished this book, that is incredible. This is a long crime thriller book, 400 pages. I couldn't believe it. When I got done, I was like, wow, you really did that. You finished that book. And it was amazing. It makes me think that I may read more Lisa Gardner books. I think it's going to happen. She was on Facebook Live where she answered questions from readers. I loved her. She's so funny. She's so cool. Of course, you know I like talking to authors. So watching one that I didn't have to interview, it was crazy. Before she disappeared. This came out January 19th. So it's been out for a minute. The main character is Frankie Elkin and she is a recovering addict. Me knowing a lot of recovering addicts in my family, having lived through a lot of them, I felt like I could really, really relate to her story. And Lisa, I thought she handled it perfect. I loved it. I, a lot of people were saying it was too much in some of the reviews. I did not find it that way. I thought she handled it absolutely perfect. This is what Frankie does. She opens up cold cases that the policemen have given up on because they couldn't find a missing person. So basically they'll look and they'll look and then if they don't find the person, they close the case out. They don't say that, but basically they just stop looking. She goes and she finds these cases and she starts her search for these people. What's amazing is that she's done it 14, 14 times before this case. She never has found a person alive. So this is kind of her cross to bear. This is what we're hoping for in this book. Can she find the missing person who is Angelique? Teenage girl goes just missing after school. There's video cameras. I am not going to say much. And it's a crime thriller. We can't really talk much about this book. I thought that the way she handled the story kept me reading and reading and turning pages and listening, I was addicted. I was like, I am addicted to this book and it's a crime thriller. Angelique is the girl that goes missing. She is the one that Frankie is trying to find. We find out a lot about back Frankie's backstory. It was just amazing. How much more? How much more can I say about a crime thriller? I think that with everything that's going on in this world, with teenage girls, you know, just coming up missing, just out of thin air for one reason or another, I thought this topic was absolutely perfect. Having said that, I don't know that there's so much more I can say about it. If you are into crime thrillers, then you're just going to love this book. If you're like me and I could give or take, you know, I some I've read some, I don't really like them. Or if you're like, no, I don't like them. I think you should read it. I think this book is well worth every page and I don't know how much more I can say about it. Go get the book. I am now a huge Lisa Gardner fan. That's what I'm going to tell you. I don't even know when she's coming out with her next book. I don't know if she's like a one book a year author. I have no idea. I think I'm going to read her next book and that makes me so happy and I am so incredibly happy that I read this book. Thank you so much for watching until my next video.